Hi guys, Billy here. I'm back. Uh, tonight I'd like to talk about the focus ball, um, which is a version of the double end bag. Um, what I like to do is it, it's actually a little tennis ball, and I got knots tied in for different heights, and uh, so obviously this one's set at my face level. Uh, what you want to try to do with it, what the tool is used for, uh, a few things. One is punching accuracy. Um, and uh, the other thing is, is getting used to moving your head if something comes back at it. Uh, and that's, that's kind of an interesting and fun concept. The first time people try to use this, they hit it and bang, it pops them right in the beak. And uh, you know, they either laugh or they get upset. But the object is, is it teaches you range control. And you have to be close enough to hit it, but you have to hit it hard enough so it comes back to you too. Um, and uh, with that said, it, it, it does teach you how to move. First you learn how to move your head, and then you actually learn how to flank the ball. And you can flank the ball anywhere from 25 to 45 to 90 degrees. Uh, I call that a bump. You know, we, a bump is you shift and then you're offline, you're, you're this way, so you can attack. Um, without further ado, let's mess around with it. What I like to first start practicing, especially when I'm showing this to people, you want to you want to make sure that when you punch, your hands don't go out. You know, like you're cranking a bicycle. You want to be able to punch and bring your hands back, back to your face, and you just practice moving your head. Okay, just like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Make sure you bring your hands back. Okay, because it doesn't do you any good if you're going down like this and you're punching. But it's easy enough to do because you're kind of cranking and the ball's so small. So. Always punch straight. Punch straight and bring your hands back. Now, to uh, do what I call bump, you practice is you're going to go one, two, and now the object is is when you go one, two, then you're going to step and drop your shoulder in because they're going to return something off of the calf muscles. Now I'm at this angle and fire one, two. Okay? It looks like this. So you start slow and you just build your speed. There you go. One, two, boom. One, two, okay? Do it again. One, two. One, two. Okay. That's and it's not easy to hit, that's part of the fun. You know? You miss, no big deal. A person's head is a whole lot bigger than this ball. So if you're tagging the ball most of the time, you got a pretty good chance of hitting your opponent. Okay? Because again, how big is the fist, how big is the ball? And that's part of the fun, all right? But now, on to what we're working on here. And now, if I want to go with my belly side, because my left foot's forward, I call this my belly side, because I'll be stepping to my belly side. I go to my left, I'm stepping to my back side, because my back's facing that way. I go to my left, okay? You're really stepping forward, but it's just to simplify. Instead of saying left to right, you know what I mean? Okay, so now if I want to go to my belly side or my right side, okay, what, what you practice doing, one, two, your hands come back, you're going to drop here, drop your shoulder in. I like to switch my feet when I do here. That's what I like to do. So let me show you that. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. I switch my feet around. I'm starting conventional, and then I end up southpaw. So here, one, two, one, two. Okay, it's fun. It's not easy. Okay. One, two, three. one, two. Okay. You have to keep an eye on the ball, too. Then when you come back this way, now we go south ball, right? So now I'm standing with my right foot forward, my left foot back. Go to my back side first, okay? One, two, three. one, two, three. Okay. I want to go to my belly side. One, two, three. one, two. I switch my feet again. So that's just something I wanted to show you guys. Um, it's a fun tool, and you start with a simple jab cross, bump to the right, bump to the left, throw another jab cross, or a single punch. Later, I'll demonstrate hooking punches. You want to start with straight punches. It's just easier. And remember, try not to crank a bicycle. Try to punch straight. Even if you got a bump, bring your hands back, boom. It, it takes time to get used to it. Do it in front of a mirror, uh, videotape yourself, um, have somebody watch, make sure you're not dropping your hands. Uh, because when you start doing it, when you actually spar or you're actually in a fight, as I was taught, you'd be surprised 
Now get in the habit of letting your hands float up here blocks a lot of stuff. And not only that, you're in a good position to fire elbows, to cover, to react, whatever you need to do. If they're down here, if you have to raise them, it's too slow. Better to have them here anyway. Okay? So please view me at uh, YouTube under Billy Boston. And also you can email me at billyboston at gmail.com. You can also email me at uh, combative fitness workshop at hotmail.com. Okay? Thank you. Have a good night.